Hey guys, so as you can see from the title, um, I'm going to teach you the basics of the planet. So, um, yeah, I'm on my iPhone, so, yeah. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and show you what my work environment thingy is. So, this is ju just at home. At school, I do play too, but at home, this is pretty much how I work. Because I don't have a stand yet. I need to get a stand. That is where I put my, um, my music. And then... The thing that says Olivia is, um, you know, the thing that... Hold it. Okay. So first of all, you're going to need music or a book. And of course the clarinet. So I'm going to get you that. Okay. So I have this bag of my stuff. As you can see, it's like that. Alright, it has my upside down music folder. <coughs> I got them music and arts because school apparently got a bunch of them and started passing them out. So that's my folder. You can get any other folder. It's fine. And then in the bag, it is my clarinet case. This is just a basic case. It has my initials right there. But it's just a basic case. Alright. So now I'm just going to fold this. If you want to see what it looks like, it's this. It's not that big of a deal. I just got it for my bike basket, but I ended up putting my stuff in there. Because it looks cute when I'm holding it down the hall. And stuff like that. So I'm just going to fold it in a box. And then set it on the ground. Right. <coughs> so in my book holds... My book holds... The music I have to do for school, for a concert. My progress report. I'm not going to do it too close to you because I don't want you to see it. My progress report. And my band practi practice record. So, um, just so my band teacher can keep track of when I practice. And then my book. Almost everyone needs a book, but you know. And if you're doing the clarinet, it should say this up there. It'll say B flat clarinet. So I'm going to get my book out, but, but I don't really need it. So I'm just going to put that behind the camera. First thing I need to do is show y'all how to put the clarinet together. So I'm going to get away from my hand. Alright. You see this bell thing? It's a bell. That's how it's pronounced. Alright. And then you want to get <coughs> this. If it doesn't fit, then obviously it's not the right part. Try to find the piece that fits to it. I accidentally grabbed the wrong one. Alright, so this fits. You want to find your cork grease. I'm running out, so I need to get more. And then put it around the cork. You only need to do this, like, every two weeks. Then you want to find the piece that fits like this. So that fits. Put more cork cool grease on it. So this looks like this so far. Okay. Put some cork cool grease on that.
Okay. Now it looks like this. Alright. So, for this part, you'll see it has this. I don't know if you can see it right there. Okay. And then this is this. You want to put them on so that and that fit exactly over top of each other. Like that. Okay. <coughs> then the rest is easy. You just slide this on after you put the cold grease on it. it should, oh god, I almost fell. It should slide on very easily. Make sure everything's matched. And then put the top on. My top goes on very easily because it's not the right top mouthpiece. Um, my other mouthpiece, the whole cork fell off, and I didn't have the $60 to replace it. So I bought another one from a lady that was selling it unused. Okay. Now everyone should come with this. It's called the lead. Suck on it. As you put on the mouthpiece like this. The back should exactly match right there. If it's not, it's not going to look very well. Okay, it's on. Then you want to match it exactly like this. Then put this on. It's called the embouchure. Oh, no, it's not. I'm sorry. And then you want to push it down and then tighten it. So your clear edge should look like this. Mouthpiece. To bell. Alright, and then you're pretty much ready to play. So I'm going to show you the basic um, notes. Which is this, 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 <coughs> then this, then this, that, then that, then that. Alright. So this is where you want to get your book out if you have one. So, this is called this. We call it the teardrop. Right there. It's called A. So when you play A, you want this sound. That. Alright? And then this is E. Wait, I just skipped it. This is G. All open is G. So. And this is F. E. These two are E. The thumb and the point of finger. D. You just add that finger. Then C. All three down. Plus the thumb. Alright. And then um, this is F sharp. No thumb but the f this. So in class we'll go like this. It shouldn't sound sticky. I don't know why it sounds sticky. I'm going to try it again. Alright. So. It's C, D, E, F, G, then A. Those are the base, basic ones. Um, and what you want to do, when if you hold in the note how I stopped... You don't stop. It's called tonguing. What you do is when you play, you want to put 
every time you switch notes, put your tongue right there. Right there. Like this. And you'll hear it stop so you can breathe. This is what it sounds like without tonguing. That's what it sounds like without it. I think it sounds better with tonguing, so. And then ETC, etc. So yeah, um, I hope you liked it. And that's the basic ones. Um, yeah. So, again, all you need is that stuff. So, I hope you beginning, um, clarinetists like the video. Um, and I hope it helped you out better. And have fun playing your clarinet. And if you need to, you can replay this video until you get it good. Thank you. Um, I hope you liked it. Now. And to clean it out, um, I think there's other videos about that. I don't want to show you cleaning it out because that's awkward. So yeah, thank you all for watching so much. Bye.